Today's Rotor Vapor Secret is about the plastic and glass coating, its advantages, its differences, and where you can apply it. Let's have a look. Here we see three different receiving flasks. The very left one has no coating at all, just plain borosilicate glass. The one in the middle is plastic and glass coated, the standard coating we offer. And the one on the very right is as well a plastic and glass coating, but this is called PNG LT. LT stands for low temperature. The operating range on this middle one, on the standard coating, is from minus 30 to plus 60 degrees, and the low temperature is from minus 70 to plus 40 degrees. This is used especially for cold trap. Let's talk about the three benefits of plastic and glass coating. The first one is maximized safety. So in case of implosions or any impacts, the chemicals which are inside the flask or inside the condenser, for example, will not just fly towards the operator. That's the first benefit. The second one is the improved sturdiness. So that means in case of someone hitting the flask, it is just slightly stronger. And that helps. And that leads me to the third. And the third one is that we can retain sample inside the flask. So even if the sample drops or the flask drops with the sample in it, we will still have the sample retained in the flask. That means we can recover it and we can use it later. This is especially useful if it's an expensive sample. Now let's put the PNG to the test. I will drop both of these, one without PNG on the left and one with PNG on the right. Let's do it. Most of our glassware is available with and without plastic and glass coating. Some examples are evaporating flasks and receiving flasks, as well as condensers. Over here, we have a condenser with plastic and glass coating and one without. If you need to see more information, please consult the Laboratory Evaporation Glassware brochure and you will find all the articles we have with, without and with PNG LT coating.